Welcome back guys to another video. In this one I want to show you how to check your car's battery levels just by checking the voltage on it. For that you will need a multimeter and later on in the video I want to show you how to properly charge the battery and maintain it. Let's do this. The first step is to locate your car's battery terminals. In the BMW Z3s you will find them either in the engine bay on the right side of the car. This is the negative terminal and the plus is underneath this cap. Or you can use directly from the battery, which is in the trunk here. Then take your multimeter. The exact model I'm using, I'm going to put a link in the description below. So you just turn it on on volts. Now we connect the leads to the battery and we will get a reading. What we see here is the voltage at 12.15 volts. Now if we have a look at this chart I made, we can see that the battery is at least 55% charge, which is on the limit of the recommended spectrum. Ideally we want to maintain the battery at at least 80% charge if we want our battery to last as much as it can. Also just to show you that it doesn't matter where you take the read, either at the battery or at the terminals in the engine bay, the reading should be the same. Ok, we got that sorted, now let's proceed to the next chapter which is how to properly charge the battery and maintain it in the long run. For this I recommend an intelligent charger or a trickle charger. Basically this will analyze your battery and give it a variable voltage for optimum charging. After the battery is full you can still leave them on on the car and they will simulate a load on the battery as it senses that the charge is dropping and will charge it again. This way theoretically your battery's life will be prolonged to the maximum. The one I use is from SeaTac and this one in particular can be used for many applications from motorcycle battery, cars evidently and it even has a cold mode and can bring back a battery from the dead so to speak. As a side note these are stock OEM equipment for most premium and exotic cars for obvious reasons if you put the car in storage or don't use it that much. They even come with these adapters for quick plug and play. And my model, the MXS5, has 8 stages of charging. This graph will show you in detail what it does. I will also explain each stage as we go along through the video. If you have a garage, these are perfect, but in my case I had to buy a 20 meter extension cord and just run it along the field. Ok, plug the charger, then select the car icon mode. And connect the leads to the battery. If it passes stage 2, the second LED, it means that the battery is still good and it will accept a charge. As you can see ours is already on the third LED which means it's fast charging the battery at maximum voltage. This is stage 4 which means the battery is at at least 80% and the trickle charger will start to decrease its maximum voltage. Two thousand years later. Stage 5 will analyze the battery if it is healthy and can hold this charge, if not you need to replace the battery. Stage 6 is for reconditioning mode only, thus it will skip to stage 7 where it will continue to charge it until maximum at a lower voltage. This is what you see now in the video, the 7th LED which is green. And finally stage 8 is the pulse mode, the last green LED where it just gives small bursts of voltage to keep it fully charged if it drops. This will happen after a few days in storage. Ok, that's it. Now my battery is fully charged and if you measure the voltage just after charging, you will get over 13 volts, which is normal because this is a residual value. We will need at least a few hours to leave the battery to rest to check the real voltage. Tomorrow. The next morning, as you can see, we have maximum juice levels and it should stabilize at around 12.72 volts. So that's it guys, I hope this video helped you and please let me know down in the comments what models of trickle chargers do you use. Thanks for watching and until the next one, please subscribe. Alex out.